Do you recall the excitement when Geely's new electric vehicle sub-brand, Radar, teased us with new images of its upcoming electric pickup truck? Well, the wait is over, as the automaker has now officially unveiled its inaugural model, named the RD6, and it's very cheap. Marketed as a pure electric vehicle tailored for outdoor adventures, the RD6 embodies Geely's dedication to providing eco-friendly transportation that can tackle diverse terrains with ease. With aspirations to rival the likes of the Tesla Cybertruck, the Radar RD6 showcases impressive capabilities, especially in handling heavy loads. This bold step signals Geely's determination to challenge the dominance of established electric vehicle giants, such as Ford and Tesla, in the fiercely competitive market. So, does Geely's new electric pickup truck live up to its hype? And how did Geely manage to offer a $25,000 pickup truck? Well, stay tuned to find out. As the world continues to push for a more sustainable future, the automotive landscape is experiencing a wave of electric vehicle enhancements. Among the front runners like Tesla and Ford, China's Zhejiang Geely Holding Group has emerged with its latest offering, the all-new electric pickup truck, the Radar GD6. Despite its newcomer status in the international EV arena, Geely's entry into the world of electric trucks is already causing a stir. Now, unlike conversations from existing platforms, the RD6 is purpose-built as an electric vehicle, ensuring fewer compromises. Designed more as a lifestyle pickup than a rugged commercial vehicle, it holds potential to appeal to a wide audience, especially in ute-loving regions like Australia, where Geely plans to launch in 2024. Geely's vast empire encompasses various brands, including Zeker, as well as well-known names such as Volvo, Polestar, Link & Co, Lotus, and Proton. Currently, the Radar brand's emphasis lies more on lifestyle-oriented models rather than strictly commercial vehicles, drawing parallels to offerings like the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Indeed, the RD6 is being marketed by the Chinese brand as an ideal recreational vehicle suited for camping and beach outings in its domestic market. Initially, the all-electric RD6 has been introduced in China, featuring a single-motor, rear-wheel drive configuration which limits its capability for serious off-road excursions. However, an upcoming dual-motor four-wheel drive variant is on the horizon. Classified as a mid-size pickup truck in China, the RD6 carries a starting price tag of $24,700. While Elon continues to make the empty promises, Geely just delivered. Now I know many of you are probably thinking, Geely must have skimmed on features. So to save you the headache, let's take a look at what Geely is offering for this modest price. Let's start with the power. The Radar RD6 is propelled by a single E-motor that drives the rear wheels, generating 200 kilowatts and 384 nanometers of torque. This powertrain mirrors the one utilized in the Zeker 001. However, an upgraded dual-motor all-wheel drive variant, promising enhanced power and capability, is anticipated to debut early this year. The RD6 is built on the Multiplex Attached Platform, MAP, derived from Geely's Sustainable Experience Architecture, SEA platform, which is also utilized by models like the Zeker and the new Smart No. 1. This gives the RD6 a notable advantage over competitors such as the recently launched LDV ET60, which may have compromises due to its more traditional platform origins. While the integrated tow hook won't be available, the RD6 boasts a towing capacity of 2,500 kilograms. Additionally, the dual cab can provide 12 volts of power to the trailer. However, payload capacity is a bit limited, standing at just 430 kilograms. This figure decreases further to 400 kilograms on the 100 kilowatt per hour battery version. Despite offering only four different versions of the Radar RD6 upon its launch, there are three battery sizes available. The base sailing model is equipped with a 63 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery, providing a range of approximately 400 kilometers. According to Geely's estimates, based on China's CLTC standard, the Maker Edition, along with the Enjoyment model, comes with an 86 kilowatt per hour NCM battery offering up to 550 kilometers of range. On the other hand, the range-topping Uno variant 
features a larger 100 kilowatt per hour NCM battery, boasting a quoted range of 632 kilometers. When it comes to charging, fast charging can take the RD6 from 30 to 80% state of charge in just half an hour. Alternatively, slow charging with an 11 kilowatt AC charger requires approximately seven hours to reach a full charge. The Radar RD6 Dual Cab stands out with its monocoque construction, a departure from the traditional use body on frame setup. This design choice contributes to its handling, which closely resembles that of a soft rotor SUV. Featuring fully independent suspension with McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link configuration at the rear, the RD6 achieves a level of ride comfort akin to a car, even when unladen. This is in contrast to mid-size utes that typically rely on a heavier-duty solid rear axle, prioritizing workhorse capabilities over ride comfort. On the road, you won't find yourself perched up particularly high, and with 17-inch wheels equipped on the car, the RD6 smoothly navigates over most road imperfections. The car maker boasts a 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration time of 7.3 seconds for all models, except the flagship Uno, which clocks in at 6.9 seconds. Though it's not entirely clear what accounts for this improvement in the highest spec model. Nonetheless, the single motor powertrain effortlessly gets the job done with minimal fuss. The Radar RD6 offers three drive modes, which you can select using a knob mounted on the center console. While sport mode stands out as the most distinct from comfort and eco for everyday tasks, comfort mode seems like the preferable choice, especially considering the size of the ute. In terms of technology, the standout features in the base iteration of the Radar RD6 include a 12.3-inch infotainment screen, which integrates satellite navigation and serves as the primary interface for controlling various features, including brake regeneration. Upgrading to higher trim levels introduces an additional vibrant 12.3-inch instrument panel. However, in the Maker trim, drivers will find a straightforward setup with two digital dials, one for power and the other for speed, both displayed within a dial-like interface with a digital readout in the center. Positioned between these dials is a small display presenting information such as door status and cruise control activation. Moving up to the UNO version, you get a head-up display, providing key information directly within the driver's line of sight. Furthermore, higher trim levels boast Level 2 autonomous driving capabilities. However, the Maker trim lacks such refinements, settling for a basic non-adaptive cruise control system. Across all versions, you can expect features like voice control, synthetic leather upholstery, an electrically adjustable driver's seat and driving aids, including hill assist, auto hold, and hill descent control. Furthermore, the RD6 boasts vehicle to load, V2L capability, accessible via a panel located in the ute bed. Equipped with a pair of 16A outlets, two 10A sockets, and two 12 volt sockets, this feature enables owners to tap into the battery's power to operate electrical appliances and other devices, making it particularly convenient for camping trips and similar outings. As of now, the Radar RD6 hasn't undergone official safety testing, thus lacking an ANCAP rating or similar certification. At the maker spec level, the RD6 receives basic safety features. For instance, Airbag provision is limited to dual front airbags for the driver and front passenger. However, the higher spec enjoyment model enhances safety with the addition of side airbags, while the range-topping UNO model includes curtain airbags, features that we anticipate being standard on Australian-bound models. A similar pattern emerges with active safety features, advanced safety functionalities such as lane departure warning front and rear collision warning, lane keeping assistance, active braking, and traffic sign recognition are reserved for the top specs. Moreover, the base trim level is equipped solely with a reversing camera, lacking the comprehensive 360-degree view or transparent chassis feature found in higher trim levels. 
However, it's reasonable to anticipate that models destined for Australia would come equipped with the highest level of driver assistance and safety systems, given the interest Geely has shown for the Australian market. The electric pickup truck market is heating up, with several key players vying for dominance. Among them, the Ford F-150 Lightning and Tesla's Cybertruck have garnered significant attention due to their brand legacy and innovative features. The Ford F-150 Lightning, an electric iteration of America's best-selling pickup truck, combines the F-Series' beloved functionality with electric efficiency. Meanwhile, Tesla's Cybertruck challenges conventional truck design with its futuristic aesthetics and promises of high performance. Now, we all have the new Radar RD6, priced at an attractive sub $25,000 mark. Unlike its higher-priced counterparts, the RD6 aims to make electric pickup ownership accessible to a broader demographic. This strategic pricing could disrupt the current market dynamics, compelling consumers to consider cost-effective alternatives to the more premium offerings. The Ford F-150 Lightning and Tesla's Cybertruck boast impressive performance metrics, targeting consumers seeking power, range, and advanced technological features. The Radar RD6, while not directly competing on high-end performance metrics, focuses on delivering reliable performance and practicality at a more affordable price point. Geely's Radar RD6 is positioned as an affordable, practical solution in the electric pickup truck market. By setting the entry price below $25,000, Geely targets cost-conscious consumers, eager to transform to electric vehicles without breaking the bank. This competitive pricing strategy could significantly broaden the RD6's appeal, attracting a demographic that has been largely underserved by the current EV offerings. Moreover, the RD6's market positioning leverages the growing consumer interest in sustainable transportation options. As environmental concerns continue to influence purchasing decisions, the RD6's affordability makes the prospect of owning an electric vehicle more attainable for the average consumer. This aligns with broader market trends towards sustainability, presenting the RD6 as a viable option for those looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Furthermore, the RD6's introduction may also serve to expand the electric vehicle market itself by providing an accessible entry point into the electric pickup truck segment. Geely could play a pivotal role in accelerating the adoption of EVs, this would not only benefit the environment by reducing emissions, but also spur further innovation and competition in the space. Geely's launch of the Radar RD6 under its new Radar Auto brand marks a significant milestone in the company's electrification journey. This is especially because the Radar brand is expected to expand its vehicle lineup beyond the RD6, encompassing a variety of models, including SUVs, crossovers, and potentially smaller urban vehicles. This expansion is part of Geely's strategy to establish a comprehensive portfolio of electric vehicles, catering to different market segments and consumer preferences. By diversifying its offerings, Radar Auto seeks to become a key player in the global EV market, recognized for its commitment to quality, sustainability, and innovation. The RD6's entry into the electric pickup truck market is poised to have a significant impact on the global EV landscape. Its competitive pricing strategy and practical features make it an attractive option for a broad audience, potentially driving increased adoption of electric vehicles. Moreover, the RD6's launch may encourage other automakers to reconsider their pricing strategies and vehicle offerings, leading to a more competitive and diverse market. Geely's international strategy involves leveraging the RD6 and the Radar brand to enter new markets and strengthen its presence in existing ones. The company has hinted at plans to bring the Radar RD6 to markets outside of China, including potentially the United States. Such a move would not only expand Geely's global footprint, but also test the brand's appeal in one of the world's largest automotive markets. Entering the U.S. market, which is known for its strong demand for pickup trucks, could be a strategic move for Geely. Success in this market would enhance the company's reputation and visibility, providing a strong foundation for further international expansion. Additionally, Geely may explore opportunities in Europe, 
where there is a growing demand for electric vehicles and a strong emphasis on reducing carbon emissions. So, what are your thoughts on the Radar RD6? Do you think it will be able to compete with Tesla and the likes? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. For more content like this, remember to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thank you for watching.